I do not know if you have already covered this topic, but could you speak on the matter of wine and bottles, old and new? Well, I think you're talking about wine and wineskins. So yeah, let's talk about that. So this can be found in Luke chapter five. So the Pharisees come to Jesus and they challenge him with a few things like they are often credited with doing. And one thing they ask about is why John the Baptist's disciples fasted, but his didn't. And while he does give them one parable to consider about a bridegroom, they, he also gives them this interesting illustration about old and new wine and pairs it up with old and new garments. Let's go ahead and read it. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast in those days. He told them a parable, no one tears a piece from a new garment and puts it on an old garment. If he does, he will tear the new, and the piece from the new will not match the old. No one puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be destroyed. But the new wine must be put into fresh wineskins, and no one after drinking old wine desires new, for he says the old is good. And some translations say the old is better. It's always been understood by most scholars that Jesus is talking about the old and new way of doing things. That the old wine and the old clothing is the way of the Pharisees and the old covenant. And that the new clothing and the new wine is Jesus's new covenant with everyone including Gentiles. So the big question is all about the wine. First off, why does it have to go into new wineskins? When wine is made, it first starts off as grape juice. And as it ferments, it releases gases, which actually stretches the wineskin that they would have stored it in. That's why he says, if you put new wine into old wineskins, it'll burst because it's already been stretched. So it must go into a new wineskin. So what he's saying is that there needs to be a change in who you are. Like, he, like Paul says, we are a new creation. Like Jesus says, we must be born again. We cannot be the old man anymore. We have to be the new man. Because the old man cannot contain or survive what the new wine is going to do to it. What the new covenant is going to do to it. We die to our old self. So the main question people have is, why does Jesus say the old is better? Well, he's quoting the metaphorical man who's looking at both wines and is used to drinking the older wine. He's used to it, and so therefore, why would he bother looking at anything else? So Jesus isn't saying the old is better. He's saying the Pharisees have looked upon his new way of doing things and have declared their old way is better because they're used to the taste.